This fuzzy little cactus is called Apuntia microdasis, which actually means shaggy. But I wouldn't pet this cacti, even though one of my good friends, Richard the Cacti Guy, actually just like rubs this cactus with his hand and he doesn't seem to get upset that he gets the glockids in his fingers. But whenever I touch this, it gets caught everywhere and I can't stand it. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it is not as fuzzy as it looks. But this is called bunny ear cactus. Sometimes it's called mouse ear cactus. And I think it's actually one of the more common cacti that I see in garden centers and even in my green market. They sell it quite, um, quite a lot. And actually that's where I picked this guy up. It was a lot smaller when I first got it, but you could see that it has probably grown in size. And all these like little um, bits that are kind of growing off could actually be just snipped off and, uh, and propagated that way. As a matter of fact, you might be able to see that some of the little ears over here have fallen off into the bottom and that's where they're actually propagating. So I love how plants actually could propagate on their own even without their owners taking notice, which is uh, quite wonderful. I actually have this about a foot and a half away from my southwest facing window, so, so it still actually gets a tremendous amount of light. Um, I've had this particular plant for probably about five years, and again, I picked it up when it was just probably two little nubs on it, so it's, it's grown um, quite dramatically, I think, over those five years. And sometimes the pads do get a little floppy, and I think sometimes that is just largely because of um, infrequent watering. So this is just coming off of winter and I usually withhold watering for my cacti in the winter months and when the spring, summer, and fall starts to come up I start to water it again and usually it's like once a week. Sometimes it's once every two weeks depending on if we had a like really overcast day and I water it really thoroughly until the water comes out of the bottom so that I know that all of the roots within the cacti are actually getting uh, a sufficient amount of water, especially after those winter months when it's starting to grow again. As far as fertilizing goes, you could fertilize this on a more monthly basis and you could choose something like a 247 or a 347 or look for a cacti fertilizer within your garden center and that should actually be good to go. And as far as pests, I actually haven't had any problems with this whatsoever. I would be afraid if this got mealybugs just because like mealybugs are those like really cottony white insects and they kind of get into cracks and crevices of plants and I think they would look very similar to the fuzzy glockids that are actually here on this particular cacti and I think it would be absolutely impossible to remove. But um, for the most part after having this for five years I haven't had any pest pressures so that is awesome. Um, if you have really good light, then I would suggest growing this cactus. It's very easy to get your hands on it, but I wouldn't put your hands on it if you know what I mean.